Hello Hancock Tigers and welcome to the 2021-2022 school year. We are looking forward to seeing all of our pre-k through 12th grade students in person five days a week starting August 23rd. I'm Kevin Carl, Superintendent of Schools in the Hancock Place School District. I'm excited to highlight our back to school plans and facility improvements which have taken place this summer. School specific information will be provided in the next few days from your child's principal. Many of your questions will be answered in this video and in the information you will receive from your child's school. Thanks to the passage of Proposition R in April, we've been able to get started on many important facility improvements this summer. You'll notice brand new cooling and heating and a new roof at Hancock Place Middle School. Beginning this fall, major renovations and improvements will be seen at Hancock Place Elementary and at Heine Miney. These will be outstanding projects for our school district and community. Unfortunately, COVID-19 continues to linger and create challenges as we prepare to open our schools. Our number one consideration is making sure that our schools remain open for our students to receive in-person learning from our highly qualified teachers. To do so, we have made difficult and necessary decisions which support safety, promote in-person learning, and will do so with the least amount of disruption. Last year and during summer school, we implemented many safety measures which have been proven successful at Hancock Place. We had no documented community spread of COVID-19 within our schools. That was only possible with the support, cooperation, and collaboration with our parents and community. We will continue to ask our families to be partners as we prepare to start a safe and productive school year. In the past two months, we were able to improve air quality and circulation in our schools with the addition of GPS ionization systems at the elementary, middle school, and high school. Our preschool building will be receiving the same system later this fall. Further, with COVID relief funds from the federal government, we have added 13 new staff positions district-wide, which include teachers, counselors, and classroom aides, so that we can maximize the individual attention that we know our students need and deserve. Our K-12 class sizes will be even smaller than usual to reflect our commitment to individualized instruction and focus on students as we emerge from this global pandemic. In the meantime, let me reassure you that safety is our number one priority. All students must have their state mandated vaccinations fully completed before they will be allowed to enter school. If you're unsure about your child's status, please contact us. Parents, we need your assistance. Please be sure your child is healthy and well before sending them to school each day. Hancock Place will continue to emphasize that students must stay home or go home when they are ill. Once inside our schools, we will continue social distancing to the greatest extent possible and universal masking for every student and every staff member will be required indoors at all times. Each day, our staff will reinforce consistent and regular hand washing and personal hygiene for students. And our outstanding maintenance and custodial staff will regularly sanitize and deep clean all high touch surfaces. The Delta variant is creating several challenges in our state and region over the past month. It's spreading more quickly and more broadly than anyone would like. The CDC, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the St. Louis County Department of Public Health have provided guidance regarding school mitigation protocols. This includes our decision to continue to require masks for every person in the district, irrespective of their vaccination status. Students will be required to wear masks on the bus and in our schools at all times. Finally, the consideration to become vaccinated for COVID-19 is an important choice for everyone to consider. While I have personally chosen to become vaccinated, I recognize that you may have questions or have hesitations to do so. If you haven't been vaccinated, I encourage you to become informed and aware of how getting vaccinated can help our community move forward from COVID-19. Vaccinations are free and extremely accessible. If you have questions about vaccinations or want to know where to get one, reach out to the Hancock Place Health Clinic, our 20-year partnership with IFM Community Medicine at 
544-1300, extension 189. As a reminder, more details will be provided in the next few days from your child's principal. The information will be sent to your email and posted on social media and will outline the back to school academic learning and safety protocols in each of our schools. We look forward to welcoming students on August 23rd and having an outstanding school year. Go Tigers!